we will drive you um, as hard as we can to get as much as we can out of you because we're greedy. Not, it's not a difficult job, um, I, can, I can't stress that enough, but it is quite difficult as soon as you throw in these things called members of the public. That's when it becomes difficult, because they've, they're all, for whatever reason, they've all got a story and they all want their story to be related. You'll get most of the, nearly all the information you need for a conviction statement in the first 40 seconds of conversation with a customer, but it will still take you five or ten minutes to actually get it down onto the form because they're going to constantly interrupt you. So it's just a case of learning the listening skills, the empathy skills, but getting, getting the hand working at the same time, which again yeah. comes in time. We have um, what we consider to be um, a level that you would be operating at. Um, we're looking to get 28 licensed sales per week from each officer. Um, as soon as you hit that magic 28, there's a bonus, a commission scheme that, that comes into, into line with that. You can only get the sale with a conviction statement. So basically you've got to take 28 conviction statements before you can start hitting um, extra money. Um, right. and with potential, you could earn another £1,500 a month with, that, with the, 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 the direct sales and the indirect sales that come in from the calling cards that you, you leave behind. Um, we will drive you um, as hard as we can to get as much as we can out of you because we're greedy. Um, everybody's um, target driven. You've got your target. I'll, I'll have a target of 12, 12 people to get. Um, my boss then has a target of 60 people to get. And so it goes on up, up, the, up the, uh, the, the chain of command. So we need good clean work and you, you need to be able to focus. Get signed off and then that's it. Great. Okay. You're uh, out on your own in the cold wet um, at London streets um, attacking poor and suspecting um, villains, <laughs> <laughs> for what would have been a better, better phrase. If you spend 15 minutes going from door to door and they're only about two minutes apart, then you're not going to see enough customers. Not seeing enough customers, you're not going to generate enough uh, return to the company and the company will be um, kicking my backside to say what's going on. Debit credit card boot will take anything. Hey, right. um, I tell people I'll take shirt buttons, I've not had to take any yet, but uh, it's, it's just an icebreaker. You might get lots of people telling you they can't afford it and lots of people telling you, giving you good reason and that will be part of your learning and it's a very, very steep learning curve. Yeah. You'll start to realise that these people and not always telling you the truth. Once in a blue moon, people will, will, will claim, uh, will, will, will put a plea of not guilty, and yeah. we don't have to turn up. And it can feel a bit daunting. Yeah. But this is the first time because it is it's just totally unknown to you. Yeah. But the magistrates are generally, provided that they haven't got piles or anything, they're generally in a slightly good mood with us. So they'll, they'll, they will help you. Um, and you've got our court presenter will be there as well, mm. who's running all, so he, he'll just be drawing the information he needs from you. That does settle you down before you start anyway. Yeah. Not a guarantee that we can give to customers at all, though. It's okay, now you bought um, you won't get prosecuted, because they could still be prosecuted. The, the more you get, you earn more money, and that's all it is. Easy way, just go through and see what they record. Most people recorded something.
So do you read the caution at the beginning when you're first speaking to them? You ascertain that you're speaking to the right person first. So literally, you're knocking at the door, how do you live here? That's uh, an opening gambit, or you've got an name. Mm. Um, your licence expired, it, it, it ran out a few months ago, was there a problem? Has there been a reason why you haven't paid? No, OK, well, let me sort it out with you now. As soon as you've done that, we know that you're Mr. Ben. I still don't know who you are, but all I know is Mr. P. I know nothing else. Mm. So then I'll write out as much as I can, I'll put your address down, I'll ask you what your first name is, hopefully you'll tell me, and then I'm going to talk to you. I can establish you live there, I can establish your name and the address, I can establish that there's a TV, that's the reason for my coming round. Mm. I can establish that uh, you don't have a licence, again, that's my reason for coming round, and that's it. You live there, you've got a TV, you haven't got a licence, and now I can call you. Until then, so you can get that evidence before you caution them. While you're doing that, they're going to tell you they've got Sky, they're going to tell you all sorts of other things, and that's the bit you keep up in your head, because you'll need that information later. When you get some of the guys will actually stand there, and you some of the I saw, which I was really good, it's like, you say, you've just got to read the caution, and you just put your, your pen up, they look at the pen, and you just bring the pen down, and you just run it across, and then they start following the pen. So there's never any argument that you've not given the caution. Oh, when you find that, they're more likely to read yeah, the whole thing. Then. At least they've, 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 they've tuned into what you're doing. So then they can't use the excuse that we, he never gave me the caution, he never did this, he never did that. But people will try that from time to time. And what happens if they say, I don't watch, I don't watch TV? Ask and check. Ask. Ask to go and check. So you go and check the TV, have a look at it. And, and what happens if they say you're not allowed in? Walk away. Nothing you can do. We can't kick the door down. However, as part of the training, it will become apparent that we do have other means that we can use. Search warrant. We keep getting the same negative response from somebody. Then we we'll apply for search warrant, which will involve another visit. Generally, a manager will go around and try and sweet talk the customer, see if we can sort them out the situation out. If we can't, then the paperwork goes back in. They then get a strongly worded letter telling them they've got eight weeks to comply. After eight weeks, no, they don't comply. Uh, we get a, a, a search warrant from the court, go down there with a couple of police officers, ourselves and an officer, and uh, take the statement. That's a guaranteed um, conviction. And that's, that's but they'd have to be watching TV. We have to have proof that TV has been used. Oh, right. Easy way, just go through and see what they record. Most people recorded something. Friends, EastEnders. Oh, you mean because TVs now have the, like, Sky, you can record yeah. the programme. Yeah, what, so you'll go in and, and, would I be doing this? Mm. So you go in and then you ask them to switch on the TV and then you look through their planner or whatever they yeah. have. Actually, have a look through it. If they're, they're denying it, you're just, just going to go straight onto that to have a look and say, well, you recorded that yesterday or something. People contact us and tell us there is no TV set in the property. So we have... Um, a gentler version of a visit to those people who just go around and double check.